<gasps> Deep breaths. Deep breaths. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Don't Tell Mom podcast, where we pour Red Bull down the funnel and just let it go. <laughs> Lately, we've been doing a current uh a current event, current events type uh, podcast. Yeah, we are. We, we need to get some. What else are you supposed to talk about? What else are we supposed to talk about? But current events. Colin? I'm so freaking tired of talking about the COVID stuff and hearing about it. But I mean, it is just nonstop, running rampant. The violence is running rampant. What's up? I'm Cullen. By the way, we're on episode hey. 107. It's my sister Brittany. We are the brother and sister duo of the Don't Tell Mom podcast. Hey, y'all! Welcome back. We have got 106 episodes. If this is your first time listening, that you can go back and listen to. That's Go right. Check them out. We Start at one and just keep going. Laughed our asses off. We should do that one day. Oh just sit gosh. and binge our own podcast React. and see how stupid we are. <laughs> like, I can't believe you said that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I hate. I, I really don't. I'm not a huge fan of like listening or seeing myself back on video or like on a recording. I remember the first time I ever heard my voice on a recording. I was like, "What? I sound like a man." <laughs> I was like, "What? Is that really what I sound like?" And it was like, the "Yeah, Miley Cyrus, the Miley Cyrus voice." And then somebody, one of my friends, was like. Yeah, and your laugh's annoying too. And I was like, well, thanks. Thanks a lot. I guess it's not for everybody. Oh my gosh. It is who I am. I'm still trying to get over this weekend. It's been a long one. It's right? been a, it's like, um, Fourth of July, baby. America, happy birthday. But then also, yeah. it's like seeing tweets about like, Happy Independence Day? Really? Are we that? Ha- are we happy independent? Are we free? Everybody's mad. You mad, bro? Are Everybody's we free? Mad. Like, why are we celebrating? We shouldn't be celebrating. There's nothing to celebrate. <sighs> yes, there is. There's some things to be happy <sighs> for. This is the problem, though, is that the negative. Like, everybody's just trying to highlight the negative things in the world. I don't want to highlight the negative things. I want to highlight the positive things in the Kanye world. Kanye West for president, yeah. 2020. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I, I can't. I, I don't know. I might be able to get behind what... Did you what, see he announced to... I saw that, like, and oh I'm, my you know, I believe that he... I, I'm not surprised at all, uh-uh. but, I mean, I'd like to hear what he stands for. I'm, I'd like to hear what uh. he's... He's gonna There's a, a lot of controversy about that as far as, well, there was um, a video, or a, he did something several years ago where he said, and I will run for president 2020. Yeah, I remember so, that. Last last election. Yeah. Four years ago. Something like, yeah, four years ago. And then uh, now it's, you know, is it a publicity stunt? We waited until the last minute, and then he's new, like, yeah, throw, no, throw my name out. in the hat. Hey, anything could happen, Pulling to be honest with from you. from Trump, uh, from Biden. I mean, seriously, they're like... Uh, it could happen, mm. y'all. It could seriously happen. It could mean anything at this Trump's point. Trump's in there. Yeah, I, I would. I thought it was gonna be a cold day in hell before. Donald I mean, Trump Arnold of, Arnold Schwarzenegger was the mayor or senator or yeah, something, right? I mean, these yeah. famous folks, they can get in there. They got some pull, right? You don't yeah. underestimate a famous person's fans. It's, it's insane the the influence that these people have. But yeah, I just. Whew. Hey, you know, I'd be, I'd probably be down for Kim Kardashian as president, to be honest with you. <laughs> I mean, she's getting that law degree, girl. Get it, you know. She's, uh, she's smarter than y'all think she is. Our okay? generation, our, her mama actually needs to be the president. Oh uh, yeah, our our kids' generations are gonna see some crazy presidential candidates. I'm sure. I don't know. Because of the I'm the scared. way social media works now. And Speaking of social media, um, you're about to say goodbye to one of your favorite ones because TikTok's about to get banned in America. I heard it got banned in India already. Well, it's a Chinese app, uh, and we're pretty much at war with China. We're not really, but we're going. We're heading in that direction, TikTok, right? TikTok, no. Yeah, you didn't see that on the news this morning. They said um, mm. U.S. is to ban, or is talking about banning TikTok. Um, in the U.S. because it's the China trying to influence us and blah, blah, blah. That's crazy because it's, it's really huge. It's real it, big. It's like popping off. I never thought Vine would go away, but Vine, the six-second app, it, TikTok kind of replaced that, I guess. Yeah. But um, I mean, anything could happen, but then that gives I mean, more What else are people going to do in quarantine, Cohen, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if not dance on TikTok? I mean, I haven't personally got into it, but I know you you kind of dabbled in it yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I you stuck your toes in. I haven't posted it in a while, but I still get on there and check out all the trends and stuff. And even at night, I'll get on there and Gaines loves foxes. So we'll just look up baby fox TikToks. Oh, okay. And just watch, you know. It's crazy how there's everything. Everything. It's insane. I mean, things you wouldn't even think. Like, who thought of that? Uh, you know yeah. I mean? Yeah, and I, at first when I first got on it, I was like, "This is insane! I can't figure this out." But now I could like tell you, I could do a tutorial on how to edit a TikTok, 
and the way you could, you know, like how sync to it get up it with in. The, the, how many seconds mm, do you get on the thing? And you, you can do fifteen or sixty. Okay. Um, but yeah, I like the little dance. You know, the Justin Bieber dance. I like that. Uh-huh. I've actually listened. I, I don't watch TikToks, but I actually listened to a playlist. Um, that's TikTok songs that are stuck in my head. Oh, yeah. Because they got some dank songs uh-huh. on there, though. People have been coming, like, some of the famous little TikToks uh-huh. have got some good songs. Well, even, like, when got we're in the... Yummy <laughs> You know what I mean? Like... Run the game. <laughs> right? We're in the car, and the song will come on, and... We haven't heard the full version of it because we've only heard it on TikTok. Yeah. But the kids will even say, "That's the song from TikTok." Yeah, it, I mean, making just, folks famous out here. Yeah, on TikTok. it's just crazy. I'm like, it's "Oh, that's that, what the song's about." Or <laughs> that's how the song it's got is. Got that dun 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 and get that quick like they got a beat to it because yeah. you got to be quick with the beat and they got to pop with the dance. I want to know who you know. like makes these. I, I guess the famous TikTokers or the like makes these little dances up and then everybody tries to imitate them and copy them i saw justin bieber uh do a car karaoke with james gordon how is that who it is james gordon one of the uh talk show hosts the british guy or australian i, I think that's his name but they were in the car and um uh, talking about tiktok and uh, bieber said all right i'm gonna make up a new tiktok dance right here and i think he tried to make it go viral but that's just how it starts like yeah. you just to yummy yum or yummy yeah. or whatever and then Pop to, off. Yeah, try to pop and get your pops right with the beat and all that. I Crazy stuff. I'm too old for that shit, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost 35 years old and I can't figure it out, you know. I get into like the visual effects side of it or the ma- magic side. Like yeah. when you jump up in the mirror, like you, you're recording yourself in the mirror. And mm-hmm. you jump up, and then you let go. Yeah, I've seen that. And then you jump that. up again, and you let go, and you jump up again. And, you, and so when you put it all together, it looks like you're just like floating, like yeah, in special the mirror. effects. Yeah. yeah, like I get into that kind of stuff. Yeah, I could see you getting into and that the magic trick. Like and, that, the ones that I do see, the TikToks that I do see, are the ones that have gone viral that have made their way over to Instagram because that's yeah, my platform. Yeah. That's the one I actually look yeah. at is Instagram, but or Facebook. And so it's like hey, those memes that get reposted, and then you got tons of the ones with the switch the light off. Let me and flip then, a switch. And then you got the little Justin Bieber and his girlfriend dance. It looked really good. But uh, when yeah. some people try to do that, they look really dumb. And if you watch their facial expressions, that's the best part because it's like <laughs> it's like your like your face is just not matching what your body's doing. <laughs> and it's just really funny. But that's a whole other aspect to it, though. Too is the the. Tick, tick, quote unquote TikTok faces. Yeah. People have to have these like exaggerated, like you have to have the face to go along with the dance. Right. Uh, you had those girls that got in a car rock, a uh, car, car rock, a car wreck, and they were upside down and TikToked it. Oh, I didn't see that. And they're like doing a dance while they're like, they're literally hanging from their seatbelt. It was right after they got in a car wreck, which they probably got into from watching TikTok while they were driving. And they're like hanging upside down, waiting on the emergency to get there. And they're like, let's TikTok real quick. And so they tick, they like play a song and they videotape themselves dancing while they're hanging upside down. I'm like, come on, y'all. That's this is crazy. I'm scared on the streets. I'm scared to drive anywhere with these kids in this TikTok. I was on. about to say, why is the first thing that you think of is to TikTok after you've been in a wreck? But sometimes as, as a vlogger on the YouTube, the first thing I would think about when yeah. something would happen to my kids or me growing uh, back <laughs> in the day. Your kids hurt themselves. You're like, let me get the I, camera. Like, I see it about to happen, going down a slide. I'm like, oh, where's the camera? Where's the camera? Get out, get out your phone. Get out your phone. <laughs> He's about to bust his ass. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I can't miss it. But uh, you still got to be That's responsible. Sick. Colin, as you're sick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, the, uh, it's getting kind of vulgar, though. I saw one. It was like a guy banging his girlfriend in the bathroom, and then they cut the light off and cut it back on and then it was the girl banging him oh and i was like gosh. how is this even on my instagram page like this should be illegal <laughs> like it shouldn't be popping up but you know whatever oh so a possibility, possibility of them, of them going out yeah that's bye really bye. crazy like sophia would say bye 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 there's, <laughs> there's creators making bank on there too yeah we haven't uh, how do you make money on tiktok though? dabbled in I, you can do like live tiktok live which is basically like a live stream and mm-hmm. have people donate that way but um, a lot of the hmm. people do like just sponsors, They're just you know, like on Instagram or YouTube. So what's the, what's the OnlyFans? <laughs> oh my gosh, we should create an OnlyFans account. Not you and me, but <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was like prostitution. Or yeah, something. Like, okay. it's like uh, you can do that for yourself. It's like <laughs> the raunchy side. It's like um, God. It's but like it's a, not all just sexual acts on camera. Is it? uh, it's like uh, 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 there's I mean, OnlyFans pay. Like, why would it be so like? talked about publicly if it was like some kind of back alley prostitution ring or something you like can, why? you can um 
you can pay for you, it's a, it's a subscription based app or service and these famous people and famous influencers are jumping over to that as a way to make money and showing their tits and <laughs> This, that, and the other, from what I've heard. Um, All right, Colin, we're not going to show our tits, but why don't we? <laughs> why don't we do an OnlyFans page for the podcast? Why don't you just slap that? Why don't you just slap this podcast on the on our own OnlyFans page? Also, the Don't Tell Mom Only OnlyFans. Well, fans. I don't know because people would have to pay for it. I mean, you know, like, <laughs> would y'all pay for us? Well, <laughs> Come on. Well, yeah, I mean, there's some. I've, there, I've seen some raunchy like people talking about. I paid for this OnlyFans and it was the most raunchiest. Da, 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 da. But they obviously blurred it out because it was on YouTube or something. But mm-hmm. I'm just like, good lord! Like these people are out here just basically selling themselves, right? To selling the public, their sell, selling their soul to the devil. Just Cullen. don't even care. Get that it money. All. Yeah, hard, yeah, hard times during quarantine. <laughs> That's when it was really picking Everybody up. Lost their jobs and shit. We gotta find other ways. I was talking to a girlfriend of mine the other day. She's like, "Girl, I'm seriously considering doing cams." And I was like, "What? What is cams?" She's like, "You know, webcams." Live, live I was like, cams? "What? No, what? Oh, no." Oh gosh, where you just get she in there? She's joking, and... but was, huh. she, was she though? She was like, <laughs> <laughs> she was like, I heard I can get five hundred dollars for uh, pictures of my feet. And I was like, where? That's what's <laughs> I'll so do great. that. There's <laughs> <laughs> you want to put me? I got you. There's there so said, many weird fetishes out there. Well, it's, apparently it's like a friend of a friend of hers, supposedly. She could have um, an alias name? selling her panties, her used it, panties to somebody in the UK for $500 a pair. People would, do, people would totally buy that, And she's going to send them over. Too. So you know they get real ripe because they got to like oh. ship them all the way over to the UK. Oh. And do the transaction, do the oh, deal. Gosh. <laughs> like, I'm like, Corey, what if I let you wear my pants? <laughs> Those would go for a thousand, I bet. <laughs> yeah, that is gross. <laughs> I saw, we actually um, had a video about something, um, sleeping with your eyes open or something like that. It was, I was just kidding like we were making a video and i was like pretending i was asleep but i was just like laying there with my eyes open <laughs> and katie was like stupid. you're not asleep and i was trying to see how long i could go without blinking or something like that well it started like gaining all these random views and then all these trolls on TikTok? no this was on youtube like wow. years ago all these trolls started commenting like um i want to you came here for the part at 12 minutes the part and I was like, "What is going on?" Yeah, what part at twelve? And so I just <laughs> I searched and I looked up like eyeball fetish or something. And there's people that like like to watch people licking other people's eyeballs. What or something like that? Yeah, no. like no offense if that's your thing out there, but damn, what the hell is going on? Weird. Like that's gross. <laughs> like I guess it's gross, is it? Like. I don't even know. I or, mean, there's grosser things for sure. Licking an eyeball. I've done that to get an um, eyelash out of my friend's eye. Like, they have a lash <laughs> in their eye. They yeah. That. That's how you get the lash out. Uh, but yeah, no, it was, it was so interesting. I was like, what? Why are these people hating? Have it, you ever had your eyeball licked? No. I have inadvertently. Like, Corey be like messing around and he'd lick my face. And, oh, like, yeah, up the side yeah. of my face. Like, ha, gotcha. You know, that kind of thing. And it, like, licked my eyeball. And it's it's a weird feeling. It's, yeah. Yeah. Maybe that's what, that's what they're into. Is that weird? The, it feeling? was the licking eyeballs. And then Katie got a, a pedicure one time and it was green for St. Patrick's Day. And I called it, like, sexy lucky toes. And all the comments were like, you're here for the five, at the five minute mark. And it was just one quick shot of Katie's feet. And, like, it's just, I'm like, why does this video have so many more views? But the you can see the watch time. The watch time wasn't. It was only from five was, minutes. Yeah. <laughs> they scrolled right at the five, seven minute mark. I was like, with, God, there's some crazy people out there with these uh-huh. fetishes. I mean, mm-hmm. I, you could say I have a fetish about video games or whatever. I mean, but, like, whatever you're into, more power to you. But, mm, I don't know. You know that guy, um. I don't know why this. Fetishes, yeah, I do too. <laughs> I, know, yeah. I know, but watch your browser. Be yeah. careful. <laughs> um, I was watching something, and oh yeah, my girlfriend posted it, and she said um, Shane Dawson, oh, which gosh. I think you yeah, you've I've talked about all, before. That's I've, how I know him. He had some weird video where he's yep. in a podcast talking about um, babies. Oh my yep. god, you sick fuck! Like yep. I will never well, listen to him again, or like why well, I've never listened. I've to him been anyway, I've been all over that news that broke out. Over the weekend, or over is that recently? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I just, I just saw it on Facebook. He like, used to be really risque, kind of like what we said in the last podcast. How you could like say that's so gay, but now you can't. Yeah, but he would take it to the extreme, kind of like some of our friends back in the high school using the n word and yeah. like 
blackface. You know, that used to be like whatever. Like yeah. it was just culturally, he's getting bashed for today's culture and the racist things that he did from a culture that was 20 years ago. Like somebody said in the podcast I listened to, if we were bald right now and we were talking about hair baldness in 20 years, the culture could change where we would be racist for talking about not having as much hair. Right. You know, like it's just the change in times. Granted, I'm not condoning or advocating anything he has said or done in the yeah. past. And he's come out with an apology video and stuff like that. But yeah, but the, the shit about the little, little girl. Mm-mm. Yeah. He was all this, he no, doing all this shock value stuff. There's and, a lot of shit that I can like get over and I'm not really, you know what I mean? I don't get offended easily yeah, at all. No. Uh, but like that, like that, that kind like, of stuff. No. Mm-mm. How do you? How does Riddle. your brain even go that? D- and then a video of uh, Willow Smith, Will Smith's daughter. He was. It was like a you know poster or something on the wall, and he's like going over to it and just acting like he was whacking off to it. That came out oh from God. like ten years ago, and mm. then Jaden and um, uh, uh, Jada and Willow's yeah. son. I mean uh, Will's son. Came out and just like and Shane Dawson's canceled essentially. Like can- yeah. the cancel culture is here with that because they came out and just bashed him and uh, didn't bash yeah, him. Yeah, you just, don't fuck with the Smiths, okay? We no, love, we love them. That was that was a crazy. I do. That's like my favorite family is, is the Will Smith. Oh uh, yeah, family, Big yeah. Willie style. That's what I grew up listening Big to. Big Willie style is right. Well, I mean, I, I get like how things change, and I, I've said it a million times that like. If thank God, I even saw a friend the other day that I hadn't seen since high school. And he said, "Thank God we didn't have cameras in high school, right?" I oh was like, gosh, yeah. camera phones, you know. And I was like, I did because I was that girl that would go to the store and get the disposable yeah, camera, oh, yeah. take the pictures, go and and you know and get that. Like I collected pictures. I had one of those little things that you, uh, it's like the little Polaroid, yeah, the, the tiny Polaroids that had the sticky on the back. And I mean, I literally had pictures everywhere. I had an entire wall of pictures. So I mean. Thank God we didn't have cameras on our because we were posing for, for most of those pictures. But yeah, can you imagine right. like some of the stuff? Like y'all know we've told the stories. Like what if we had a video camera during some of those stories? And then I go try to run for president. Yeah, that's, that's coming out. That's yeah, that, that's the thing. Um, I actually came across a video where I recorded. I had a video camera, and this is kind of goes back to my love for what I do today. I guess on my senior day of high school. Walking down the halls, vlogging before it was even a thing. Yeah, vlogging all my friends and say telling them to say what's up, and I was even acting like I had sponsors and stuff. Like <laughs> back, I was like, um, I think WBRC Channel Six Channel Six News was there or something to record some of the graduation or the last day of school festivities, and I saw them out there, and I was trying to get on the news. I was like, Oh look, my sponsors here, Fox Six News. <laughs> WBRC, thanks for sponsoring today's video. Yeah, <laughs> it was just so foreshadowing to go back and watch that, uh, yeah, seeing that. But I'm glad I didn't have one. For prior, a lot of the like other stuff, the, yeah. The 10, 11, 12-year-old ages when we were like throwing around all sorts of lingo. And I know. I remember we gosh. had like this one recording we found later on in life when we were like teenagers or something. And it was of us when we were like, I don't know, you were probably 10 or, 10 or 11 and I was 8 or 9, <laughs> whatever. And it was like a cassette where mm-hmm. you can like you put the cassette in and you press the two buttons to record it, you know. Yeah. And you were recording yourself rapping. Uh, is this it? Right? This might be the actual. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the the boombox right here. No, or one of them. There's a cassette in here actually. Is that? I wonder if that's the one, Colin. I'm gonna flip out if there's actually if that's the one. What is it? Oh no, it's the Ace, Ace of Base. Base. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Ace I of Base. I saw the sign. And, and it opened, opened up my eyes. I saw the sign. Yeah. Life is demanding. No, that wasn't it. But I mean, thank God I, we don't know where it is now, but it was Cullen just cursing up a oh, storm. I was oh, like, and then, fuck, bitch. <laughs> Alanis <laughs> Morissette singing Alanis <laughs> Morissette songs and saying the cuss word in it. Oh, you know yeah. what I mean? Ironic or whatever. Oh. I don't know. Cullen was a little rapper. I, I was a little Will Smith wannabe. Like I literally, yeah. I, I knew about Will Smith rapping before I think a lot of people before even knew he was a rapper. <laughs> like they just knew him from Fresh DJ Prince. Jazzy Jeff, yeah, now. <laughs> DJ Jazzy Cullen. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Anyway. Oh man, that was a trip down memory lane. Um, okay, so listen, this is what I want to talk about because y'all know last week if you listen to the podcast, you'll know that I was we were talking about Fourth of July and what our plans were, um, which our Fourth of July was 
actually awesome, by the yeah, way. Yeah, your video. Is my video was, yeah, we oh uh, we did a giant slip and slide in our yard, and it was a lot of fun. We have like the perfect hill for to where it's safe for kids and fun for adults too. You yeah. know what I mean? So it was good, but um. But y'all, if you remember, I was talking about how I'm scared to go anywhere on 4th of July because the firecrackers all sound like gunshots. And Mm -hmm. as the older I get, the more paranoid I get. Well, Cullen, let me tell you, I have reason for my paranoia. And today's (sighs) news stories would prove it. Okay. I was watching the news just in disbelief. It was 160 killings over the weekend. 160 people died during 4th of July celebrations. So... Home of the free. Tell me I'm crazy for being paranoid and not want to go out going. Like, why? Why? It's it's senseless. Gun violence. It's stupid. Listen, like, I got facts. I got facts for you, Cullen. Well, first of all, there was one here real close to home. It was at our mall just right down the street from where we live. And it was a, uh, it was some guy, it was an eight-year-old boy was killed in the inside the mall from a shooting. And apparently there was a, a verbal argument between a group of men at the mall and it turned violent. Excuse me, and led to gunfire where an eight year old boy, innocent bystander, and three other innocent bystanders were injured, but the eight year old boy was killed. And the Hoover police said that they have one person in arrest and they're still looking for like the other people. And it's crazy because they put it on the news yeah. looking for his buddies, like the other people that were involved in this confrontation. And it's showing them on the news, and but they all have masks on. They all have masks on. I saw that. And it's like, what? What's gonna like? Is that part of the reason that people are getting are feeling like they can go out and do these things because their face is hidden and they don't look like they're up to no good with their face hidden? They just look like normal person in the crowd. Yeah. The surveillance can't tell who they are. You know what I mean? Is we it- yeah. I, it was Friday afternoon, I think. We were leaving the pool, and we were leaving a little bit early. And this lady stopped me, and she said. Um, are y'all, y'all aren't going by the Galleria on your way home, are you? I was like, mm, first of all, I don't know who you are, but why are you asking? <laughs> no, yeah. I mean, we're going home. And she's like, okay, because there was just a shooting over there, and the police presence is high, and you might not be able to get through. I was yeah. like, oh, wow. And this happened like two minutes before, like, you yeah. know, and so we're like, so I got on Twitter, of course, and I started searching it and looking it up, and all this stuff initially was like, Thought to be that it was over mat- the masks in general. Like somebody was talking about how they didn't want to wear a mask and this, that, and the other. God, but then oh. it came out that it was probably gang related in a sense or something because I, I don't know if you saw the picture of the that they post. Uh, you said you saw the picture, but like I don't know if you noticed. Um, they all had chain. They all on. had the same chain on, like mm-hmm. a gang type re- relation or something. So um, I think there was talk about how it was two opposing gangs. Uh, I didn't even know there was gangs here. I, in I mean, Alabama. that's what's so. Even know, like, what's in, even more scary is I was just there with my son Brooks at Bath and Body Works getting the three wick candle special half off um, two days prior, and Katie was there four days prior with both kids. And now it's like, Mm-mm, I ain't going back there. This is mm-hmm. just it. it they, hits, tear, they ain't tear that shit down. It hits so close to home, and then the, the argument also is like, "Where's the outrage and the protests about this?" Like, you know, it's a yeah. innocent little black boy that get killed by a group of black men. I think is mm-hmm. what the understanding is. I know the picture they showed. The suspect that they have in custody is yeah. Mm-hmm. I know for a fact that there's parent the the parents of the other three that aren't in custody. Mm-hmm can look at those pictures and be like, that's my boy. Those are his clothes that he's wearing. Yeah. You know, the, that's the my other, sign with dreadlocks. That's my, that's my boy. Yeah, even though they got masks on, you can. it's such a clear image. You can see. And I also know that if it was my kid that killed a like a little kid, I little would, boy. I would, I, I don't know. It, like it, there's a, there's a, <sighs> would you turn your son in? for murdering an a eight-year-old boy or just hope the police find him or like that that's the thing is the that's po- a crazy question dude. the police was like if you're watching this and you did this and you were involved in this if you don't say if you don't turn yourself in we will find you and so i was reading all the comments if he's holding that. the gun and he's the actual shooter maybe but if he's there and one of his friends does that and he's just there and he's so he's guilty by Association. association yeah i don't know if i would help right yeah, it, it's he, just, he's uh, just a, they're just kids too 22 years old the one that's in custody yeah. i mean they're just 
young man. I don't know if the one in custody is the one that shot, pulled the trigger or what, or mm-hmm. if they all had guns. I don't know. But like that was one of the some of the comments were like, if this was my son and I could recognize him from this picture, I would be turning his ass in for. I mean, you're talking about an eight year old boy just walking through the mall with his mom, or I, I'm not sure the full story. How but. many lives are affected by this one <sighs> one thing? I mean, this one argument. That people think they're all big and bad because they got guns, and then look, they didn't even hit the target. They, they hit were just like, blah, 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 blah. like, yeah. And it started in the food court, and the little boy got shot way down by this the other the one of the other ends. So you don't realize how far the reach is. Like it's like, of course, that the saddest that part is that little boy's family that just lost their son, yeah. right? And then you've got the people that were actually hit and the, their families. And then you've got the people that were working there that oh, are now oh, and don't feel safe to go back to work. That's what I saw on my Facebook. And then my neighborhood group, one of my, our neighbors works at the Galleria was across the hall where the shooting happened and said, she honestly didn't feel safe to go back to work, but she has to support her family. So it was, yeah. what do you do? You know, I found another job or wait till they get metal detectors. They're going to shut this. They're going to shut the gallery down. Shut it down. I mean, but then it's just going to transfer over to the They'll summit. Shop it on Amazon. No, that's the thing. Like me and Katie were saying, we're like, what's the point of even going to shop anywhere now because of your safety? Yeah, I, mean, I know. Right. Well, I mean the coronavirus. Other than trying on clothes. I mean, I've actually found, I've actually got my first, um, real live person that I know that's got caught with the coronavirus. It's a neighbor of ours, and she uh-huh. works at. Oh well, they work at um, UAB, so it was like kind of like it was bound to happen. You know what I mean? She mm-hmm. works like on the coronavirus floor or whatever. Yeah. Like it was one of those things. But she's got three kids and a husband, and they're, she's quarantined and stuff now. And uh, but it's crazy because I was like, I've, that was the first time after, out of all this happening that I actually know somebody, and for it to be somebody that lives a couple doors down from me, it's like. Wow, it can happen. I mean, I know she was some uh, an essential worker that's like there and that's close by to it, but it's like they were supposed to come to our Fourth of July uh, slip and slide, and he called and said, "Hey, we're not going to come to do the slip and slide with the kids because you know my wife's sick and we she's getting tested for coronavirus and we don't know we don't have the results back yet, so we're just not going to come. We're not going to like put y'all in danger in the event that she mm-hmm. does have it." Sure enough, you know, Monday rolls around and she gets her results back and she did have it. And I was like, thanks for not coming to our party. <laughs> but, I mean, it's that close. It's like right there, you know. I would imagine, and I was listening to one of Katie's friends talking about this, there's a lot of guilt associated with positive tests of COVID, mm-hmm. especially if you put yourself in the line of fire or if you've been interacting with people uh, in general. Um, just the you, mental, the mental yeah. guilt that you have to, because it's your responsibility and the right thing to do to call anybody you've been in contact with and be like, look, I know we just hung out last week at the it's cookout. Like telling you have a disease or something. But yeah. I got tested positive for COVID. And then like, you know, the shame and the guilt and you're having to deal with and then hoping that they respond respectfully. And yeah, I, that's, get that's a whole different I was watching Story something else there, on the news this morning that was like um, all these restaurants that were opening and they were doing everything right or whatever, but you're not going to wear a mask while you're eating, obviously. Well, um, they were showing like, you know, how far once you cough without a mask on, how far it can go up to like eight feet or something. But then it was showing where this one lady had had it. She was eight. What was it called? Asymptomatic. Mm-hmm. Like she didn't have any yeah. symptoms of it. Yeah. And she was at the corner, like the back corner of table. And when she, I guess she coughed or something, and 15 people got it in that restaurant. And it's because the air conditioning vent was above her, and it doesn't pull air from the outside. It pulls it from the inside. So it just literally circulated it and got 15 other people in that same restaurant. Jeez. Came back positive, probably from this one. This one That's lady. what this lady said. She said she didn't have any fever or anything. She just knew she had been, or uh, she was a, a, a chef working. Uh, for one of Our Lady of Sorrows events or something. Mm-hmm. Um, and she had been around a lot of people, but she didn't have a fever. She didn't, you know, have any major symptoms. But then she started kind of getting stuffy nose, and she said, to be, better be safe than sorry. Let me go get checked. And then, sure enough, it came out positive. So, yeah, that's just crazy. Like, I, now I'm like, oh, crap. If, I sneeze, if I sneeze, do I not, like, you know? Well, then you, just, get, you get checked. Like, I got checked um, when I was pregnant and, you know, before I came in to – uh, to labor and delivery, they had done my test and I had gone into labor before I'd actually gotten the results back, but they had had them and I was negative for it. So I was like, okay, good. So I know I'm negative for it, but then how long, like it gives you this sense of like, oh, I'm okay. Yeah. But then how long after, like, okay, say I test 
negative on Sunday. And then Monday, I come in contact with somebody that has it. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, oh, I just got tested. I'm fine. And, you know, like, so no one around me is going to get it for me because I just got, you know what I mean? That kind of sense. And then, but you could, like, how does that, I don't even know how that works. Like, if you pick it up on Monday, how quickly can you then pass it to somebody else? Like, I don't, I don't really yeah, know. Yeah, I the think you can is. sit on your system or, you know, it's seven days or four. Like, that's the whole thing. It's so weird. Like, it's such a weird, don't really weird know. virus. Well, and uh, as far as the virus goes, does, I wonder if that contributes with this, the whole 4th of July shootings. Yeah, because and, people are people so are high, like, like they're uh, so sensitive. Everybody's got a different opinion. Like, okay, right. should we wear the mask? Should we not wear the mask? Is it, you know, violating our freedom to, you know, have to wear one or whatever. Or I've been so, I've been good so far. So let's go out and party because I've seen pictures and videos of like the beaches and stuff. And they were like, packed. it said masks required, but they were packed with no masks. Yeah. <laughs> like, right. This uh, false sense of like, okay, well, even if I do get it, it's not going to kill me because so few people have died from it in comparison to how many people have it and stuff like that. And then the whole argument I understand is like, it's like, well, you could then pass it to, like, a, an older person or whatever, mm-hmm. or somebody else in your family that wouldn't survive it, right? right? So that's the whole thing is everybody needs to do their part. And I totally agree with that. I think everybody – I wear a mask every time I leave the house. You know, I mean, that's just uh, – I'm I'm all about keeping myself, my family, and everybody else around me, you know, everybody safe. Mm-hmm. So it's not that big of an inconvenience for me to wear a mask, you know? And but, a lot of the places are saying no mask, no service. I mean, it's the new normal thing. We are, we our neighborhood had a Fourth of July fireworks show, and in the neighborhood brief or whatever, it said masks required, and it mm-hmm. turned a lot of the own neighborhood against each other. There was a huge argument. That's what, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like is that in the, the in the neighborhood page, yeah, and it was just like I'm not. If you're gonna tell me I can't go, uh, you know, just it's around the block, yeah, and it's inconvenient. We went, we took our masks, we wore them for a minute, but we were so, everybody parked, you know, good, decent ways away. And literally, I looked around, there was like nobody wearing masks. I mean, it wasn't, but we we're open door, open area, you yeah. know. And it's, it's not as, I, I, from what I understand, the scientists are saying it's not as bad outside as it is indoors, because indoors, like I was saying, has the circulation of the air conditioning coming through and all this stuff, and um, so it's easier to get when you're in close proximity indoors with people than I guess it would be if you were outside. I don't I don't really know. Uh, but it, it is. Everybody's got an opinion about it, right? It's these things that are happening to everybody. And because it's happening to everybody, everybody feels entitled to their opinion and to voice that. And so you have people that are arguing about whether they should wear it, whether they shouldn't. And then you have you're bringing up issues that everybody wants to chime in their opinion on um, if, you know, you should open up the stores again and open the country back up or if it'd be it do worse damage to keep them closed or reclose things and then our economy go into the shitter you know mm-hmm. like and then people can't feed their families and then have to struggle or die that way you know what yeah. i mean so uh everybody's you know sees things differently and when you put your views up against somebody else there's obviously going to be tension like i automatically get kind of like, I get mad at Corey if he doesn't wear his mask. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, it's my... Because I'm like, what? Is, why is it that inconvenient for you? You know what mm-hmm. I mean? It's like a small inconvenience. It's a small price to pay to make sure that you don't bring it home to your family. Like, you know? Yeah, that's what... I heard Philly D talk about how it's so hard to get everybody on the same team as a collective unit. We're so divided. The world, it, it's like... If we could just all be on the same team, it would help, but we can't. <laughs> and then, like, the protests and people, what they think, they think that they shouldn't be doing the protests because of the coronavirus, and then they think that it's irresponsible to go to these things and um, and spread the disease. Like, okay, well, everything has to be closed except you're, if you're protesting or, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So everybody's got an opinion, and unfortunately, like, there's been people that are blocking you're blocking friends you've known your whole life because their views on this on the pandemic on uh black lives matter on um you know the mask on everything and you got people like ending friendships Mm -hmm. over about what they think should happen and it's it's sad i mean and then you got assholes like i saw in one uh, an article there's one guy that was known positive testing for covid he knew he had it and posted a shot of him on the beach and wasn't wearing a mask and coughing on folks. Uh, he, give- he wasn't really coughing, but he was just like, F you if you don't think I can't come out here. This is my freedom. This is my right. Mm-hmm. I've been, I quarantined for 18 days. I tested positive. I mean, for eight days, I tested positive. 
he only quarantined for eight days. You're supposed to, well, I don't know why, 14 is the magic uh, number. Yeah. I don't know. But he said he felt better. He hadn't yet retested yet or something like that. But it apparently it went viral. It blew up. Everybody was just bashing him. Like, yeah. Just to be that arrogant about that, Right, everything. to know and then not do the responsible yeah. things. Yeah. yeah, after you know that you've, got, you've tested positive. But, I mean, I don't know. It's like... That's the difference in him and somebody that doesn't know they have it that's walking around for, (laughs) you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. But, yes, I do believe, like, your question was, do you think that that's in, uh, is causing a lot of these violence? I think everything going on, tensions are high. People have lost their jobs or um, don't know if they're going to ever be able to return back to work or if they're, um, are they're they're either protesting or they're not protesting or there's riots and then there's the coronavirus and the mask and the no mask and they go back to work and they should shut it down or they should open it up and um, then you've got the election and you know who you're voting for and um, you know and just all these things right and then oh, heaven forbid they ban TikTok too <laughs> so <laughs> it's just not shaping up to be our favorite year right but I do think that all of these things have caused tension and, you know, like with a gang violence, you know, I mean, I can imagine that if one guy says something just slightly wrong to the other guy, like, man, you should be wearing your mask. You you don't care about your mama. And then it's like, you just said something about my mama, uh-huh, you know, and then it yeah. just escalates really fast and then pop, 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 three people die, you know, uh-huh. like, but this is just, it was just kind of overwhelming. And I don't know if this is normal. I know that it is normal for violence and the gun, um, shootings and stuff like that gun violence to go up during fourth of july weekend that's been kind of a something that's been happening over the last few years but it was just kind of shocking and that's why i had the i'd like wrote these statistics chicago's down. always pretty high isn't chicago's it? Yeah. always pretty high their violence is pretty high but this over this course of the weekend thursday through sunday they said they had um 47 shootings with 87 victims and 17 fatalities and that same Jeez. holiday weekend in 2019, there was 42 shootings um, with 66 victims and six deaths. So it's gone up. It's like doubled since uh, last year. Then in Atlanta, oh, this was so sad. Atlanta, apparently there was a little, well, there was an eight-year-old boy shot, I know, but there was 11 different shootings, 31 victims, five of whom were killed. One was an eight-year-old boy. Are these and all like This is over the last public- weekend. Uh, public. This isn't like police cheating other people. This no, is just this is like people shooting people, people on people. Yeah, people on people. Yeah, this has nothing to do with police. <sighs> so this is not like riot stuff. This is just well, actually, the one in Atlanta. Apparently, and I needed to go back and read the story, but I think it was like it was like a group of armed men were like hanging out near the Wendy's where the uh, where that one guy was killed during uh the protests or whatever by the police mm-hmm. that, that wendy's yeah. is now it's now like a memorial i guess there was like armed men protecting this side of the neighborhood or something that where that wendy's was but it was like armed men are out there and then they just start shooting fire and hit an eight-year-old boy and killed him uh that was like in a car God. that wasn't even involved in whatever the argument was about but I mean, it blows my mind. It's like, y'all are just killing each other now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, what's going on? Um, the New York City Police Department reported 44 shootings from Friday to Sunday. With um, It's up 16 incidences from last year. And it says 11 killings from Friday through Sunday. 10 of them were due to gun violence. And 63 people were injured, some seriously, in the shootings. Uh, last year, there were six killings over the same period. And then Los Angeles, there was 21 shootings and six killings. And Philly, there was uh, several shootings and 30 people shot, eight killed. Golly. And that's just some of the bigger cities and then our city or whatever. But, I mean, doesn't that just blow your mind, dude? Tell me you're going to not be a little bit more nervous about we went to go watch the fireworks or gun, yeah, gun violence. We went to go watch fireworks uh, that our city puts on. Um, for the state or for our little area that it's a huge show thunder on the mountain. And yeah, we were going to um, go. We Katie didn't. was like, bring protect, like let's bring our protection because we didn't want, like, I was like, well, we're not going to be in a building. We're not going to be, we're, you know, you, it's one of those where you go park <laughs> anywhere you can in the city to view the fireworks from a certain location and get yeah, a good, pick your place, pick your place. Yeah. But, like, still, just the <coughs> unknown of, like, what could happen if somebody could walk up to you and, you know, like... I will say, um, kind of talking about fireworks, the 
last year I think there was a drought, so fireworks were banned in, mm-hmm. in the in the state. Yeah, they um, caused a lot of fires. You saw that uh, L.A. too, where they banned it in L.A. And then then they showed like a video, like a drone footage of L.A. on Fourth of July, and it was just boom. It was like the whole town was having their own fireworks. Was that and last year? This this year? Oh, this year. Mm-hmm. Well, last year they were. Ba- this year they weren't banned. I don't. Uh-huh. I don't want to assume because it was literally like on the way home, driving home. It was like a thunder on the mountain. It was just so different from last year, seeing just like pew pew versus this year. It was like kabah, kabah. yeah, people are getting paid. They're getting that unemployment, that <laughs> stimulus. Calling. They took that stimulus to the fireworks store. Oh my gosh! Um, speaking of uh, fireworks, uh, Mr. Beast. I don't know if you, he's huge on YouTube, biggest YouTuber out there. He spent. Six hundred thousand dollars. You see that twenty two million views. And Corey goes, "You think that he made his money back um, <laughs> on that YouTube video?" Six hundred thousand. I said, uh, "No, six hundred thousand views or six hundred thousand dollars. That's a lot of money. I don't think any ad company is spending that much on his one little video." Uh, I don't. I mean, he. I mean, God, maybe. The, the, vid- the the video of his, like he had the whole little computer system and everything, and he was like, like some serious pyrotechnics. It was or whatever. unbelievable. It was insane. So I need to watch it. I didn't actually watch people that. People just yeah going crazy. I I went to Crazy Bills and spent seventeen dollars. I went. I went on the <laughs> yeah. I went on the third. I went down here to McCullough, and I was actually at the firework stand. It was it was a stand. You had to wear your mask, and you didn't get to go in the store. You had to like tell the lady which one you wanted. So it was a little different for me because uh, I was like I want to look. I don't yeah. know. Let me see here. And um, she said, buy whatever you buy, you get is buy one going free for everything. So like, say you spend thirty dollars and you get thirty dollars for free. I was like, all right. Oh wow, I needed to find that place. I know. So Dang. there was a thirty dollar like pack. I was like, I just need something for my toddler that would be, you know, like yeah. the little ones that don't make too much noise, but yeah, are sparkly. Yeah, yeah. So some sparklers and all that. And um, and so then so she's had like a little pack that had your go tos, your Roman candles, and your snakes, and your little snap poppers, and all that stuff, sparklers and. So I got that, and then I got thirty dollars. I got spent anyway. It doesn't matter. I bought some fireworks while I was at the stand. My friend Matt called me, and he was like, "Hey, are you at the Galleria?" I said, "No." <laughs> he said, "Somebody just got shot at the Galleria, so don't go over there." I was like, "Well, I'm in McCall, so." But that's Dang. how I found out. I was actually getting fireworks when I found out. But about um, a shooting, you got that we just talked about on the last podcast. That's crazy. Uh-huh. I got some of those little uh, little grow snakes. That are just, yeah. And the kids love those better than anything. The the loud ones and the stuff that made all the noise they didn't like. They weren't but they could just sit there and watch those little slugs yeah. grow. That's right? Crazy. The ones that do the visual. So the yeah. pop pop is isn't really a yeah, that's no. not good. Well, we didn't even actually show uh, I think Sophia saw one firework and it was <laughs> and it was like a you know, just sits on the ground and, and spews out some fire. Oh yeah, I saw y'all dancing in front of that one. Well, we no, she wasn't up for that. Uh, it was Lily Bean was the only one up for that because Sophia had gone to bed and I'm not deterring from her uh, oh, sleep no. schedule. Not She'd had so much fun. She was wore out. I was like, should we wake her up and bring her down here to look at the fireworks? I was like, nah, we'll do it another night. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, we're like, we're tired. Let's not. But um, we, me and Corey sat out there and we did, we lit a few of them and danced around with our sparklers and Lily was out there with us and, and we didn't even get through half the bag. It was like, eh, let's go in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is boring. But yeah, is our dumb. neighbors down here, I could see like over the trees, you know, you can kind of see through the trees that somebody up here had spent some money because they were doing a whole show in oh, our neighborhood. Man. I was like, by then, we, we were going to go down to the to the one downtown and load the kids up and do all that, wake the kids up. But it was a day, man. Uh, we had, that with the slip and slide and all we that? We had that slip and slide fun going on. You know on what's a underrated that I, I think is underrated firework? What? Is the like military grade smoke bomb. Like the ones that literally go off for two minutes. <laughs> like it's literally, there's no like pyrotechnics or anything. It's just a smoke yeah. stream. And it's like the thickest cloud of smoke. I was just like... That's some it, special effects shit. I you got to save those for a, a video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got a vlog idea. I was trying to do some of those smoke bombs when Rocky had come down the slip and slide. I was like, uh, all right, light the smoke those. bombs. Yeah. And, then, and then I want you to slip and slide through the smoke. <laughs> you know, we tried it. It didn't really work. But if we had one of those big ones, it would have been... Yeah, it was just like, you know, it's about this big, but it says on the package, the last up to two minutes. And I was like, yeah, right. And, but I remember getting some in the previous years. But I mean, you, I literally, about after a minute, I just picked the thing up and was running around with it. And then it like warns <laughs> you, safe, warns you at the end, I guess, with a little pop, pop, pop. It, 
and I was holding it and I was like, oh shit, oh god, it's about to explode in my hand. But um, <laughs> no, it, I, I was, I think they're underrated. I, I'm I think you're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're lucky. All this, all this uh, firework, all your firework stories. But oh man. Okay, on other news, this is the last thing we're going to talk about because I know we're, we just go and go sometimes. But I am on the edge of my seat, folks, and I'll tell you why. Current event, uh, what's her name? Jelaine Maxwell. Yes. Has been arrested. After being in hiding. After being in hiding and then posting, her lawyer post, posting fake pictures of her at the in and out in L.A. She wasn't there. Oh, I didn't know about that part. Yes, yeah, so they were posting pictures of her being at in and out But it's like you look, if you like look in the picture, it shows like a, the date or something. It was like from years ago uh, or something. I don't know. They figured out that was a scam. She was in hiding in this luxury house in New Hampshire. Oh, yeah. Um, she hard. was. She was. They can't in, serve you if you're hiding. For anybody that's unaware, she was uh, <coughs> basically... Um, the Jeffrey pimp. Epstein's yeah right hand man mm-hmm. going to get the models sex trafficking ring and bring them in and then um, do you think that she's going to get killed in jail? Oh my God! If she ends up quote unquote committing suicide, if she's even convicted, up to thirty five years they said. Um, yeah, I, that would be conspiracy. No, before she no before she has the chance to talk is what I'm saying. Uh, For, talk against all the important people that she could probably get in uh, lots of trouble, like Bill Clinton, Donald yeah. Trump, Prince Andrew, Prince Andrew, who hasn't come out and said anything. He's still in. No, he well, no, he says that he has nothing to do. Like he He's canceled refuses, some kind of golf trip, but refuses to talk to that. I don't FBI. think he'd get in trouble. I think that somebody even said like I think she'd sell out Bill Clinton before she sold out Prince Andrew because. Yeah. He's like her homie, and he's the one that like got her, made her socialite, made her a socialite in New York, and yeah. all this stuff. And they showed a picture of her on the Queen's throne from where he like took her and Kevin Spacey and um, mm. Bill Clinton were all three together when they went on a tour through like the the where the the castle or whatever. And um, she was like sitting on the Queen's throne in a picture with Kevin Spacey, and apparently Bill Clinton was like right off to the <sighs> right. And like they're all There's good friends, some right? Major so, names in that. Major names: President Donald Trump, <laughs> Bill Clinton, Attorney Alan uh, Dershowitz, or something. I don't know. He's a high-powered Harvard crazy. law professor. And um, let's see: Prince Andrew, Duke of York. And then we got U.S. Attorney General William Barr. I mean, imagine some of these people: Attorney General getting getting indicted or getting like told on by this girl if she or, like, spills what, the beans. What kind of evidence she might have if she's right? got any. What if she has evidence? So, like that's why like she has so much pull and she's got away with it all this time and he's never really got in trouble is because they have all this they have stuff. They probably uh-huh. have blackmail like stuff on all these people, right? I listened to a whole Jeffrey Epstein based podcast Woody one time. Allen. Oh my gosh. But and yeah, they talked about just the manipulative and the tricky ways and even some of these victims and survivors in some of the 60 minutes videos the 60 minute videos that i've seen the australian 60 minute or something i mm-hmm. watch we're, we're talking about um just how they would force them or talk to them or like coerce them to go up to the room and Give them the massages, yeah, yeah, and then end up sexually abusing them, and then they'd come out crying because they didn't get the job, and quote unquote didn't get the job. Or well, there was know. one this morning. I was well, I went down the rabbit hole with this one because I'm like, I really <laughs> want to see because I was like real curious as to see what was going to happen with Jeffrey Epstein, and then when he, you know, s- supposedly killed himself in jail, very convenient, you know. <laughs> Um, mm. and then it's like, okay, well then that case is kind of dead and you forgot about it. Well then now they're they've not, got this girl. I'm like, yes, yeah, get they're her. Not, they're not letting this case die. No. Nah, and they let, and then the Netflix, I watched that. Anyway, I went down the rabbit hole about this girl and it's just like, she is literally everywhere. The pictures she has with all these famous people. And I mean, like seriously, I'm going through the list. I'm just looking at it. It's like governors and just all like the attorney general, president. I mean, all these really important people. That she's connected to. And it's like, how many of them does she have dirt on? How many of them has she, like, personally set up a, you know, a child for them or whatever? Yeah. Like, the, I was watching something that said the youngest age that the guy um, that saw on the island that came off the plane was like an 11-year-old girl. Uh. 
With um, braces. I saw some yeah. that were talking about models with br- pictures of models with braces. And it was like a ski, it was like a pyramid, right? Yeah. They were they like they get the girls and then the girls go and they go to school to their high school or middle uh-huh. schools and get, recruit more girls. It was like a pyramid pyramid Mid-scheme. scheme. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah, in the in the podcast I was listening to, this one girl went to school and asked her friend, Hey, come over here to this rich dude's house in Miami or something. Mm-hmm. Uh he's got a boat and um Make them look if, all glamorous. If you want to make two hundred dollars in an hour, yeah. And she's like, "Okay, what do I need to do?" And she's like, "Well, I'll tell you when you get there." And all, all you got to do is um, give them a le- learn how to do mas- massages. It's it's super easy and super simple. Yeah. And then before you know it, they're getting sexually abused and don't even understand yeah. why or anything like that. So, yeah. like, I want to know in the comments, uh, what do y'all think about all this as far as this? I don't, like, I don't think it was just her setting it up for him either because I saw one this morning. It was a girl. She's Jane Doe because she doesn't want to be her name out mm-hmm. there and it, like, blurred her face or whatever. But it was saying she personally raped me over 20 times that she was involved in these sexual acts against them. Mm-hmm. Like, she was there enjoying partaking. With him. Raping with him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So and, it's and more than just in, oh she it, said it up. Yeah, no, she was there raping with them. But, well, and in some case, in some of the stories I've listened to, they said that it made the girls, the little um, teenagers, teenagers yeah. feel more comfortable with her in the room. Right? Too. Yeah, she made it out to be like there was some sick yeah. family, like yeah. I, like she referred to them as her children, and <sighs> it's just so sick. I, I love true crime. I mean, it's terrible all this that had happened, and these poor women that had to go through this at such a young age when you don't really even know yourself or your sexuality or what you know, like you right. don't, you're not sure like how far is too far, and it's an adult, and they got all this money, so they must know what's best for me. That thinks, kinda, yeah, you think it's okay and um, mm-hmm. where's my $200 and I'll come back next week. Yeah, and then they I'm sure they try to justify it by like, okay, well, they knew what they were doing. It's like, no, they don't. They're little kids. Yeah. Like sex trafficking. I had a girl on my, um, I had a lady on my victim's podcast that was uh, a victim of sex trafficking twice. Mm. And her story's crazy. Y'all go listen to it. But it was like, she's an advocate now and fights works with the FBI to try to bring down sex trafficking rings and was like trying to explain how a a 14 year old can't give consent. (laughs) You know, like even if she says, yes, please have sex with me. That's a 14 year old girl. You're it's still rape. Mm -hmm. Like you're still, you can't, uh, you've been, they've been brainwashed and just mind, you know, they're just been taken over. So, um, yeah, it's crazy. I mean, I, I'm i literally on the edge of my seat to find out what happens <laughs> to this happen. lady. Is she going to die in jail before she's ever able to testify against anybody? Will she testify against anybody? How strong is the case against her? I mean, this is their, the ones that they've um, arrested her on are from like 1994, 1996 or something. So is there a statute of limitations on that? They've like, got to play. They probably, hopefully, have learned from the Epstein issues to play it differently this time to where please sing sing like a bird yeah, please sing yeah. i really want I hope to see they got their ducks in a row as far as that goes to where she does get twisted into telling stuff or saying she was stuff at and, bill clinton's daughter's wedding she was like right oh, there in the man. front row like you're and you know what bill clinton's like because oh, the Monica Lewinsky thing, you already know that he's a freak. So, <laughs> so I mean, like, seriously, I want to know if they did it. I want them to, I want to know it, and I want everybody in the world to know it, and then them be held accountable because there is nothing in my mind. I just cannot wrap my head around that. Like, no. and taking advantage of little girls and stuff, that just, I hate that, like, just, makes my skin crawl. Yeah. If there's anything I hate, there's nothing in the world I hate more than that. I'll shoot somebody for that, for real. Right? For real. Like, let's go. <laughs> yeah, give me the gun. Oh, my gosh. And well, happy for the July. There you go. <laughs> happy birthday, America. We are free, home of the free and brave. Yes. Um, Thank y'all so much for listening and yes, watching. Leave a comment watching. with all your thoughts and opinions on everything we discussed yeah. today. Um, Hit the subscribe button if you're watching. The, uh, the, the fireworks, the killings, the shootings, God. the everything is so crazy. It's the getting crazy out here. And, y'all uh, just stay home. Just stay home where it's safe. Masks, I'm going to yeah. be staying home where it's safe. <laughs> Oh, that does it. Episode yeah. 107 in the books. Thanks for listening. Don't Be tell honest. mom. Bye, y'all. Peace. Peace.